Hey y'all, I'm Mighty Cat, and today I will be playing Fallout 4. Y'all ready? Let's go. Okay, so last time, against Sean's wishes, we saved these synths from being reclaimed. We also sided with the railroad, which Also, come to find out, both the Railroad and the Brotherhood showed up, but I only warned the Railroad, so I don't know what that's all about. Yeah. The whole thing was very upsetting, but I did yeah. what my gut was telling me to do. Yes. And now I'm gonna have to go... Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go back to Sean and let him know that I failed this mission. <laughs> you know? I'm torn because I don't want to hurt Sean, but I don't want him to hurt the synths either. And I'm not sure if the Institute has the best interest of all the Commonwealth at heart. I think that there are major players in the Commonwealth that the Institute would not even allow to live, you know, much less go down to their underground paradise. And that just, you know, that just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And I mean, there's got to be a reason that synths are running away, right? I don't know what it is, but maybe they just don't like not having the freedom to do whatever they want. And that makes so much sense. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna steal it. I know, buddy. Oh, goodness. We just gotta get out of here. They're still fighting, but... Okay, um... I don't know how the Brotherhood even got wind of this. I didn't say anything to them. Okay, so Sean's in CIT. I don't know if the choices I'm making are gonna lead to the result that I want. I don't even really know what I want. I guess what I want is I want the Institute to stop treating their synths like slaves and to allow everyone in the Commonwealth to join them underground where everything is nice and good. But they seem to think very poorly, very lowly of people above ground. And the only reason I'm even getting a pass is because I'm Sean's dad. I gotta face him, you know? I gotta tell him what I did. Hopefully he'll understand. You know? I'm kind of scared to tell him the truth. Part of me is thinking maybe I shouldn't. But we'll see what our options are. It seems like sometimes we do get an option for deception. So, maybe we can deceive him somehow. Is he inside or outside? Looks like he's outside. And... Very upset. So I really just don't know what my options are gonna be here. Sean, are you up here, buddy? I have something to tell you. I'm not really sure if you're gonna like it. Is he luring me into something? This is the second time that I've been lured into this building under false pretenses. I'm so confused. Where is he? It's showing him as being in here. I am so confused. Is he just standing around and I don't see him? Wait. Sean? Oh gosh, what the hell's happening there? Sean, is that you? Been looking for you, buddy. Hey. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Really? Not once. You're gathering Since a lot of radiation the day out they here. Brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. Uh, the only hope I don't know for about humanity that. lies below. Maybe. 
It's not so bad out here, you know. It's not so bad, really. People manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. It's not really I how I feel about it, buddy. I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Um, what about your mom? Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. Yeah, but what it about Nora? It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111... You had me released. I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Maybe they should have taken my DNA. <laughs> so, you let me out. I didn't know that. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Sounds like Perhaps you're the one corrupted, Sean. Would you... After all this time, attempt to find me. Of course. And now I know the answer. Of course I would. I still love you. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. Mm -hmm. Soon, I hope... I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? Um, oh gosh, I don't want to ruin this moment. Uh, there was an ambush. We were totally ambushed. They were waiting for us. You can imagine that I find that very hard to believe, given that all um, the intelligence leading up to this indicated we'd taken them by surprise. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this... I didn't... They had no I way of knowing what was happened. going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which, it's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. After that I'd failure? I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen okay. Enough. It's time to go back in. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's terrifying. So he was angry, but... He didn't write me off, which is nice. But now... Now I have a few things to think about. Maybe I shouldn't have lied to Sean. Maybe I could have convinced him. Shoot. Maybe I should go to the Brotherhood. At the very least, I could find out who told them about Bonker Hill, because it wasn't me. I don't think ultimately I want to side with the Brotherhood. I still believe that the Brotherhood is the best chance at taking down the Institute, but now I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. But I also don't want to side with the Institute, so I don't know what to do. I don't want to kill Sean. I just want him to change his mind. I'm coming, buddy. What you got there? What? In here? 
Oh, a technical document. Good job. Well, now I have two reasons to go visit the Brotherhood. I mean, I just want to go talk to them, you know? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. All those rads I just picked up. Maybe there's a non-violent way of convincing the Institute to change their minds. Maybe if I go back to the Brotherhood, I'll be comfortable with one of their solutions. I'm not sure, but anything's possible, you know? I just don't want to completely write anybody off at this point, because I don't know what everyone's plans are, specifically. I know, at this point, how everyone feels in general. But it also seems to me that all of these factions are connected. And I do believe that the choices that I make are going to impact what happens. I'm going to go tell Maxon that we found a way into the Our Institute. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute. I did. And liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood Knight. Well, I didn't However, know you could do it. You've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. Mm -hmm. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment. Thank you. Since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans, I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram Wait, right away. that holotape's for the Minutemen. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape. No. So we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of... Okay. ...background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. Okay. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. That's... fortunate. Um, can you tell me more about Dr. Lee? How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. Mm -hmm. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. I know some of this because of Genex Playgroup. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. Uh, differences? I don't know. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think Why? she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and she's convince alive? her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. Hmm. Uh, it feels like there's something you're not telling me. What's this project that needs her attention? Sorry, that information is classified. Come on. I'm sure you understand. Just keep your mind on the mission. No. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. No. I want to know Elder more. Elder Maxon. Dr. Lee is a valuable asset. If any harm comes to her, I'm holding you personally responsible. I'm not bringing any harm to her, but I'm still very upset that she won't tell me the whole story. Okay, so the Brotherhood is keeping things from me, just like everybody else. Sucks. Genic played Fallout 3. He has a Fallout 3 playthrough on his channel, and I met Dr. Lee already. So I know a little bit about who she is. Okay, I'm not doing this one because I'm supposed to bring the holotape to the Minutemen. That's why I got it in the first place. They can't just have it just because I have it now. I'm working against my own son. It doesn't feel right. I don't know if I really like the man that Sean's become. He seems very callous towards sense, and he seems to not understand how, how like human beings they are. Now, where was Dr. Lee? Was she in... No, I think she was in robotics, right? Greetings, sir. Hi, I'm not up to no good. <laughs> what was she working on? Also, I don't like the fact that they don't From let dog hear, meat into the Institute. That rogue sent at was a real menace. That's not that right. Back where it belongs. You know? Dog meat should be able to go wherever. They probably won't let him in because they probably think he's dirty, which he is not. I forgot which, uh, where she works. 
No, she doesn't work in synth retention. Pretty sure she doesn't work in that. But it's not showing up for bioscience. No, she doesn't work in bioscience. Where is Dr. Lee? Local map? Hmm, she's upstairs. Father is more than just our leader. He is our creator. Yeah, that seems like something you were very programmed to say, buddy. Dr. Lee? Oh, she's in the room with them. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, begin what? excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. It is speaking to you, Dr. Lee. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence. But there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points. They know a lot. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? What, you mean me? That's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? No, I don't know what phase three is. What's phase three? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made what over sacrifices? the years to allow progress to continue. What compromises? What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor nuclear. that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. But what about the it people will above ground? Not just our survival, but our prosperity. Wait, hold on, a reactor? Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? his place? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please. As I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. Why? I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. Why? What's wrong? I'm, I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, be serious. everyone, please, I am sorry. Dying of what? This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. Wait, you're dying? What? Of what? You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Mm. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, 
I am naming my father as my successor. No, oh, boy. Oh. You can't be serious. Um, really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. I... He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank Wait, you. Wait, I wouldn't even know how to run this place. My compliments on getting V-592 back to Wait. us so quickly. I was just named his successor. Okay, um... I am not fit to leave this place at all. I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. What about our second sorry, chance? I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking for it. It was. It certainly was. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the Directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the Directorate, and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. But this nuclear... wait. This nuclear reactor we're talking about. It's gonna hurt everyone above ground, isn't it? Sean. I dislike resorting to the use of Commonwealth technology. But the advantage it will provide in this case cannot be overlooked. I don't understand. Hey. What is this gonna do? What is I this gonna do? I have every confidence you'll make a fine director. I need to know more about this reactor. Dr. Holdren. I'm glad you're here. I'd like to conduct an experiment, but I need some assistance with it. I believe we can improve the growth rates of our crops by using mutated cells, such as those found in super mutants. That's why? To test this theory, I'll need a tissue sample from a particularly strong super mutant. I expect I'll eventually need several such samples, but let's just start with one. That sounds really dangerous. That sounds pretty dangerous. For someone as brave and skillful as yourself, I'm sure it will be a trifle. Okay. You need a tissue sample from a strong super mutant. Got it. That's right. Now remember, only a particularly hardy super mutant will fit the bill for this experiment. I don't need it right away, but if you do come across such a specimen, I'd be grateful if you could bring back a sample. So, basically, they created super mutants to do stuff like that for them, to grow their crops. So, essentially, this entire place was built because of the monstrosities that they've created. That's just great. I need to know more about this reactor. I need to know what it would do. Son, I dislike resorting to the use of Commonwealth technology. <laughs> Now the advantage it will provide in this case cannot be overlooked. You know, you really dropped a bombshell back there. And I just don't understand why I can't get more information. It must make you to see all that Father has done. All that he has built. I mean, it's beautiful. I just, I don't know if it's, if it's right. <laughs> I'm so conflicted. Where did Dr. Lee go? Maybe if I talk to nice her. Work bringing that rogue synth back. I thought she was in advanced systems. I mean, if I'm at all able to convince Dr. Lee to join the Brotherhood, that might actually give me the answers that I need. 
She's a smart lady, so she would only rejoin if she had a good reason. Hi, Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee. You again. What do you want now? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. What do you mean that I spoiled your experiment? You're the scientist. Why do you think I'm here? Well, let's see... A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth. You find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm just here to talk. No, I just want to talk. Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. I want to understand why you don't agree with him. Are you happy here? <laughs> Are you kidding Come me? On. I am surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds so the world So she's ever lying. Known. What does that have to do with why we're talking? The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. You left projects behind. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Okay. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? I don't know. What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? What would it take? I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right. I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here. A Dr. Virgil. Yes. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab. And he was killed. No, he wasn't. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid he information on what killed what happened him, to Virgil? I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood he's... and consider your offer. But Do he's we not have a dead. Deal? Virgil's still alive. I know this may come as a shock, but... Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? Okay, I'll do it. Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab was in the biosciences division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself has been sealed, so you'll have to breach it on your own. I'd tell you to be quiet about it, but your brotherhood and discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. No, it isn't. And finally, <laughs> if you get caught, we never had this conversation. If you require maintenance, please file a report with the facilities division. Something's going on with her. She is not entirely happy here. I just don't know why. No one will tell me how they really feel about the Institute, except the people above Grant. But even the people here are not happy to be here. It's almost like coercion. It's either this or above gray, you know? <sighs> okay, so we gotta convince her that Virgil's still alive. Sounds like Sean covered it Sounds up. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were wow. a handful. I mean, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh wait. I've already been in here before. Oh no, that nasty robot's in here. <sighs> Should've came in sneaking. I mean, this is pretty twisted. That they would create these super mutants just to study them. Uh, play. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! You understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. 
After that, I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a god, may he have mercy on us all. That's exactly what I suspected. It sounds like the Institute has always taken lives to meet their ends. They're just not the good guys. I wish I could convince Sean to leave, but is there even a point now? He's gonna die. He's gonna die anyway. And I highly doubt these scientists would ever listen to me. They'd probably just rebel. You know? Dr. Watson can be a little obsessive. I don't think I am going to change the status quo around here. They weren't all too happy that Sean picked me in the first place. And honestly, what would I even do? You know? It seems like every advancement that they make requires them to hurt the people above ground. And the railroad and the Brotherhood and hell, even the Minutemen, they they are not going to be okay with what the Institute's doing. What they have done. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I say. I've got what you need. Doctor. Took you long enough to find that evidence. Long enough? It took me Let five me minutes. Got. Here it is. Here you go. A holotape. This better not be a waste of my time. I've already listened to it. I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. They... lied to me. They did. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing. You needed the truth. No matter how badly it hurts, you needed to hear the truth. And for that, I thank you. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. <sighs> Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying exactly. about? Exactly. Or what their plans are for my work. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Thank you. Excuse me, Dr. Lee? I'll be along soon. Just tell whoever sent you to prepare for my arrival. Good luck, Doctor. To both of us. I apologize for any disruptions that my work might cause you. It's okay. This is the synth of my son, Sean, when he was only eight years old. Hi, Sean. I heard you're going to be in charge of the Institute someday. That sounds like a lot of work. Are you excited or scared? I'm really scared. Maybe a little scared. It's a very big responsibility. Yeah. Father says that the Institute is the only hope for people left in the world. And if you're in charge, that means that it's all your fault if something got messed up. Yeah. You seem like you're always in a good mood, kid. Well, sure. Why wouldn't I be? I'm just wondering if your nose grows every time you tell a lie. That doesn't make any sense. Wait, advanced systems notes. Play. This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's... Well, it, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. 
That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are, are put off by his presence. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. It's just so spooky. I don't like it. I am curious to find out what Dr. Lee will be working on with the Brotherhood. Thank y'all so much for watching, and if you liked the video, don't be afraid to subscribe. Bye, y'all.